right, foodie Jules here. I got some simple recipe content today. Doing a little bit of meal prep. Um, I'm basically making some slow cooker carnitas. So what I have here is a blend of cumin, oregano, chili powder, salt and pepper, you know, very basic Latin inspired seasoning rub. I got over here, I had some leftover shallots, or not really leftovers, some shallots I really needed to use before they were starting to go bad, and some garlic cloves. Usually you put an onion and some garlic in here. Um, and I have this gigantic, not really gigantic, this bone-in pork shoulder. I got this on sale at Winto for about $2 a tail. So carnitas is very simple. Basically, if you couldn't hear me, basically what you're gonna do is you're just gonna slow cook this guy. And so what we're gonna do, I have this rub, right? I'm gonna dust it all over the meat. I have some oranges here. I'm gonna squeeze a couple of pieces worth of orange juice into the mix. And then I'm gonna throw in my aromatics, let it sit on low for about 11 hours, 12 hours, and then we're gonna check on it and basically shred it. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and get to rubbing the spice on the meat. All right, so we're gonna have to go ahead and put the spice herb on the meat. So what I've done with this pork shoulder, I've kinda, you know, you, typically they don't advise you to wash your meat. I did, a, I did a little rinse, but I also dabbed this meat dry just to make sure that, um, you know, the, the seasoning rub we have here kind of adheres properly. So I'm just gonna, you know, lather it on like so. You wanna get all sides of the meat, of course. So I'm gonna get the sides here. Maybe I didn't make enough rub, but that's all right. I mean, we'll use all of it. So, you know, for the for the ratios, for the for the seasoning, it's really at your heart's desire. I think the only thing that's not at your heart's desire, of course, is the salt, because you can make this thing way too salty. So this is about three teaspoons of salt. You can use two and a half. I went a little bit more salt heavy because I think this is more than four pounds. So about two and a half teaspoons of salt uh, per four pounds. So just a little bit over, uh, like half a teaspoon per pound, maybe a slightly over. Gonna get a little seasoning on the fat cap as well. Yeah, we can get a little in the crevice here. Yeah, so it's usually a safer bit. Um, I mean, if you have a big piece of meat uh, your margin of error for the salt is much higher, but you still can overdo it. Just be very careful with your salt. But for the other seasonings, it's okay. I think the only thing with, you know, carnitas is I don't like the oregano to overpower the cumin. So I usually do like a 2-1 ratio of cumin to oregano when I do make carnitas. But other than that, it's really, you know, it's pretty flexible what you can season with. I think if you're a purist, like you don't put a bunch of spices, necessarily put a bunch of spices in your carnitas, but I do like to add a little chili powder to mine, which I did today, along with your uh, cumin and oregano and salt and pepper. All right. All right, I just about finished rubbing the meat. As you can see in the pot here, I have my garlic and shallots on the bottom. We're gonna put this roast in. You wanna put that fat cap up. The fat is gonna drip down and render and kind of, you know, make the meat nice and juicy. What I'm gonna do now is add my orange juice and then we're gonna plug on the slow cooker for 11 hours and go from there. All right, so I basically put in the juice of about two oranges. Some of the pulp fell down, or actually a lot of the pulp fell down. I just threw it in, why not? Uh, usually you don't do this, but you know, there's no rules in this house. I'm kind of just free balling this carnitas. Uh, but what I'm gonna do now, I'm basically gonna 
put the lid over this pot here. I'll plug her in. And then we're gonna wait for 11 to 12 hours and I'll show you what it looks like before we shred. All right, foodie jewels here. I legit forgot to film myself shredding my carnitas, but it was about eight hours on high, seven to eight hours on high, a little bit over eight hours. I had a bone in pork shoulder, so it took a little bit longer. I had to flip the guy about five hours in. But I got some nicely shredded carnitas here. What you can do with these, you can finish them in the oven to get them nice and crispy, the ends uh, crispy and the like. But yeah, these are ready to eat as is. Like you can put these on tacos, you can make like a, like a chipotle style rice bowl, you name it. Uh, you can eat this with beans and rice, maybe a little bit of salsa would be good with this, some avocado, some guacamole. And yeah, uh, this is just some of my mini content. And yeah, I hope you, hope you enjoy this recipe. You know, very simple recipe if you are a busy guy like me. And yeah, uh, cooking jewels. Signing out.